Sis, you gotta go. Sis. Papa. You gotta go, you gotta go. Sis, Brandon here. We are at Escape Rehoboth. I am with Diane and Clint, and we just tried the Lost Tomb. It was a really cool room. You guys got to come down here and check it out. Uh, we are in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, um, not too far from New York, New Jersey. I mean, if you're willing to make that commute. But they're going to tell us a little bit about their company and when they got started and when they opened up. Um, so, how long ago did you guys open up? Uh, we opened up about three and a half years ago. Okay. Opened uh, right around October. It'll be four years this October. Oh, 2015. wow. Yep. yep. Wow, okay. And uh, currently, how many rooms do you have in this uh, in your facility right we now? We have four rooms, and we're planning a fifth to open roughly Memorial Day, mid-June, somewhere wow. in that time frame. Okay. So going along with, I guess, the future of what is to come for your company, you're opening another room. Is there anything else that you guys can tell us that you have plans uh, for? We do a fair amount of mobile rooms. We oh. kind of focus on going out to community businesses, uh, school systems. Um, we've actually done some two-day escapes before for 200-person communities out here. So oh, wow. We're, yeah, we, we like that. Okay, so you do. You, I'm assuming you do a lot of events, like a lot of corporate events. Or we do a fair number. Okay, cool. Um, so, Clint, you are the room designer, and I'm, I'm assuming like there's a lot of creativity and inspiration that draws from somewhere. Where would you say that comes from? Oh, just growing up watching great old movies and <laughs> things like that. I mean, the classics from the 30s. Uh, I, I get so many good ideas from there. I hear you. And uh, I, I'm basically an electrical contractor, so... Uh, you know, I would make things work differently here and there, and everybody, why are you doing that? And I'm like, I don't know, it's fun. And then finally now, I mean, I've got that outlet, and I just love to make things different. Essentially, my daughter and I, or daughters and I, come up with ideas, and we say, can you do this? Yeah. <laughs> and he'll go to his workshop and say, yeah, I've got it. Like, here's or what we want, it. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All so, right. Uh, that's yeah. how it works. Well, very cool. Um, so this is our very first room we've ever done in Delaware. So when you visit our website, they are going to be the very first review that we are going to put out for our readers. And we're going to try to get more people to come down here to visit you guys. Great. There you go. All right. Well, thank you for hosting uh, Escape the Rumors. We really appreciate it. Uh, we'll definitely make that trip back here when you okay. open that other room. And Great. That's and try to tackle as much as possible. <laughs> okay. There you go. Thanks thank so you for coming. No problem. Take care. Come on, let's go. We're late for the escape room. Hurry up, hurry up, come on. Hi, Escape Room Birds. This is our second stop for the day. We're in Delaware still um, at Axiom. And look at 
at this little dude. We're gonna go into the Pirate's Cove room, so really excited. Escape the rumors. We're here, the third stop in Delaware at Novus Escape. We're gonna do at the room called the Dreadnought. And um, follow us in. I escaped the rumors, so we're in Pennsylvania now. This is going to be our fourth room of the day, and it's going to be at Escape, and we're going to do the motherboard room. So wish us luck. Hey Escape the Rumors, Brandon here. I am here with Rosemary and Carlin and we had just visited Escape the Room Media and today we visited the Motherboard Room which was incredible. You guys have to make that trip over here to Media Pennsylvania and check it out for yourselves. But we want to know more about the company and the thought process, the creativity and inspiration behind the company and the rooms. So when did you guys open the company actually? 2015. 2015. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. So first in Delaware County, which is a big county around here, one of the first escape rooms in the greater Philadelphia area. Um, we're into our eighth room now. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Eighth yeah. Room. And they're all in this location. They were. We're the very first one we did in a different town called Swarthmore. And when we first met, we did a little fundraiser for a, a local organization. We had a space, and so we just discovered escape rooms ourselves, and we're just floored by the experience, and just thought That's we, me. yeah, <laughs> totally addicted. I was like, we have to do this. Okay. And so we did our first one called Escape Jekyll's Lab, okay. and we did that in Swarthmore, and then after that, we thought this was it. We this is it. This is what we're gonna do. And wow. so we started. Yeah. Okay. And great. Went right into it. And, uh, so besides the uh, eighth room that you're opening, uh, what other future plans do we have for the company? Well, we're continuing to grow and expand, uh, looking for you know, different locations. Um, but we have been here now for how many years? Uh, going on our fourth, fourth year. year. And we continually um, create new games and have different ideas. We have a tent that we take out, um, mobile games. So we have 10 minute games oh, right. that we take to street fairs and parties and private parties and corporate events. We do a lot of corporate team building here. Um, so there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of people who still don't know what escape rooms are. Believe it or not. <laughs> so here, here's a rock. Yeah. <laughs> here's everybody else yeah, yeah. that well, doesn't know. Seriously, so there is so much more to do. There's so much more opportunities to spread the word. And for thank you to people like you who help really spread the word about what great fun escape games we are. We do what we can. So part of the reason why we do these interviews is so that we can kind of find out uh, more about behind the scenes. Yeah, absolutely. The, the creativity in terms of... Uh, 
how these ideas come up, how much tech is involved, time, and uh, I feel like it doesn't get showcased yeah. enough or highlighted. So that's why we try to provide a platform for people to yeah. share with the audience. Sure. Um, so who develops these rooms for you? I do. You do? Yes. Wow. So I design the games. Carolyn here is my editor in chief nice. <laughs> so I run everything by Carlin she her background is Q, QA okay. um, so she is the one that says you know let's do it this way or let's think about that so you know we are a team and we are not one without the other right. and there is no way we can do this without each other so I come up with the ideas Carlin helps to produce them um, okay. and then business wise we break down the business I do most of the marketing she does most of the business development so we're sounds like you have a great thing going on I mean eight rooms and the one we did if they're all of that caliber I, I, I would come back just to try the rest of the time yeah, we love hearing that <laughs> yeah. well thank you for taking the time to host us uh, we had a wonderful time thank you and uh, you guys have to come check come their rooms out <laughs> it is incredible especially when you walk in their lobby area is huge. If you have time to, uh, before your room, Go to some media. Pool. Yeah. yeah. Visit, you can visit media, State Street, lots of bars and restaurants within walking distance. Make it a night. So come on out to media. Right. And that's like a, a block away or a couple blocks well, away? Yeah, yeah, a couple blocks away. Oh, you can make a whole day out of it. Absolutely. <laughs> come on out. Well, you have it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you Thanks very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hey Escape the Rumors, Brandon here. We are at Exit 4 Escape Rooms in Collingswood, Pennsylvania. We are doing the Time Machine Trouble Gate Escape Room today. So why don't you follow me so we can check it out. Let's go. Escape the rumors. So we're here on our sixth room today in Glassboro, um, Pennsylvania, and this is a really vivid location. It's like restaurants and everything all over the place. And uh, in Exit Four, which is their other location, we're gonna try Ben Franklin's Infernal. So can't wait. Escape the Rumors is Brandon here. I am sitting here with Nicole, who is the general manager for both locations of Exit for Private Escape Rooms in Glassboro and Collingswood. Yep. Uh, we just tried two of their rooms. Uh, we did Time Machine Trouble over in Collingswood, and then we just did Ben Franklin's Inferno here at Glassboro, New Jersey, and they were both really cool. You guys should come out and check them out because they have a lot of rooms to select from. Yes. Actually, how many rooms do you have? So location? we have four at this location and four at the other location. Okay, and it's just those two locations? Yes, as of right now. Okay. Which we're hoping to franchise. Okay, cool. Well, th this leads me to my second question is if you know anything about the future of uh, Exit 4. Um, I know we have a few possible interests okay. Okay. and we're hoping to expand very soon. Oh, cool. Yes. And I'm assuming this is the newer location. Yes, this is our newest one. Okay. Um, we started in Collingswood and it took off way bigger wow. than we even expected. Yeah, we just came from there and they expanded also. Yeah. They got the whole floor, it looks like. Yeah. Okay. We started 
started with two there, and then um, we opened this location and put four in, and then we put two more in there. Oh, just wow. Recently. Okay, and which is your newest room here? Our newest room here, well, we kind of opened them all at the same time, but the newest one would be the police station. No, there's no one okay. here. here. And the, here okay. and then over there, the newest one is yeah. the time travel. The time travel. Okay, cool. Uh, they were both really cool. We had a lot of fun with those. And um, in terms of like the development, okay. like, yeah, do you build in house or outsource? We do everything in house. Oh. We have our own place that we build everything from scratch. Oh, wow. um, we found that it brings our uniqueness out okay. just by building the puzzles ourselves, mm -hmm. and you know. The one great thing about us is we take ideas from everywhere we can, you know, even if it's an employee that comes up with it. We take it and we try running with it and we come up with unique things and unique puzzles. Cool. So. Yeah, I mean, it, each room seems very different from the other, and I'm assuming yeah. well, I have, we've tried two out of all the ones that you had, mm -hmm. and even those two were very different from each other. Yes. we try to keep all the puzzles different. We don't, we don't like the repeat of seeing the same thing over and over again. We like to keep it fresh. Right, right. Yeah, it could become repetitive after yes. a while. All right, cool. And in Glassboro, yes. it looks like you, you have so much going on and it's like everything looks brand new and really yeah. uh, nice. Uh, is there like a scene over here, like restaurants and bars and stuff? That's one of our um, biggest things. We like to yeah, we do it in person make too. sure that it comes up on your there's a crowd right. where we have our places. You know, people are always looking for things to do after they go out to eat. Right. They want to keep partying, and some people don't like to drink and go to a bar. This is their other option for right. that, especially for families as well. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's to make a whole yes. event out of it, going Absolutely. to dinner, and, or go, coming here and then going to dinner. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much for You're having welcome. us. We had thank a great you for time. Out. And um, you guys are going to read our reviews. You're going to see some really cool yeah, videos of the outside of this building, inside. And hopefully, you guys have time to come check them out. Absolutely. Come check us out. Take care. Thank you. Escape the Rumors, Brandon here at Old City Escape Games in Philadelphia, PA. Uh, we just did the Midnighters room and it was so cool. You guys have to make a trip out here to check that out. I am so fortunate to be sitting here with Brooks and V. Um, they're going to tell us a little bit about the company, so this way we all can get a little insider info. Why don't you tell us, uh, when did you guys open the company? Uh, we opened about 10 months ago. Oh, so you're fairly new. Yeah, fairly oh, yeah. new, fairly new. And right now, currently, how many rooms do you have? We have two rooms now, and we're opening up a third in a, a couple months. months. Okay, great. So, I mean, I guess that leads me to my next question as far as the, what can we expect for the near future besides opening up a third room? Is there any type of events that you guys are doing? or? Um, right now, we are focused on getting the third room open. Um, 
we did we did just uh, lock down a, a partnership with Wawa, so now we're offering <laughs> Wawa catering, which is like oh, wow. a, a big Very deal. Legit in, yeah, in Philadelphia. Yeah, so. yeah Wawa is huge in Pennsylvania. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm from Penn State, so okay, cool. Wawa was the place to go after hours. Yeah, you know, we've got our Ben Franklin themed room. We've got our. Um, Boxing theme room. We've got our Wawa partnership, right. you know? That's so cool. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> who's the developer with these rooms and the puzzle designer? Like, do you guys outsource for that or you do that all in house? Um, well, we we consider ourselves the designers in a sense. Um, okay. These are all original rooms. We uh, don't franchise. Okay. Yeah, so, so her and I wrote the concepts of our rooms to start with. And we, then we did outsource help. Okay. Um, so we have we have someone in Atlanta that we work with on kind of story development, and then no, we have a, a tech team that helps us build out. Yeah, a tech puzzles. team here to help us with like and fabrication. We, we do a lot of our own team like Andy for. Ah, that's very cool. So I like to ask this question because I find uh, a lot of these escape rooms are so unique and creative. Where do you draw your inspiration from to come up with these concepts? Um, well, we both come from creative backgrounds. Oh, okay. Um, so I I also work in design. Um, we both consider ourselves artists and senses. Mm -hmm. So so um, cool that you are able to like implement that yeah. in your personal life into your. And we we found like I mean it was kind of we uh, just jumped head first in, into the industry when we first joined, you know. Um, but we definitely look at our games as like experience design. Uh, so it's. I don't know. We like to think that we take it to a unique level. That's so cool. Well, we're excited to learn more about the third one when you plan to release it. One more time, when is the ETA on that one? Uh, That's a little bit of a moving target. Um, <laughs> yeah. It usually let's, is, right? Let's, 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 let's say May. Um, yeah, let's say May. Well, this year. Yeah, this, year, this, this year, year for sure. Okay, for sure. cool. Yeah, we've taken, a, we've taken a long time. We've rewritten it a few times. Um, it being our last game and kind of our most unique in a way. Uh, we just wanted to make sure we get it right. And like, okay. Well, if you're ever looking for beta testers, we do a lot of beta testing, <laughs> okay, so cool. we're happy to be your guinea pig. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, thanks again for having us, Brooks. Yeah, thank you. And V, we had so much fun at uh, doing the Midnighters, and we look forward to any other future endeavors you guys have. Cool. cool. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming. Thanks Take for it coming. easy, guys. Oh, yeah, so I totally, you know, left out some important things about, you know, what there is to do in this area because when we parked outside, we saw a lot of restaurants, uh, bars. Is there any things that you recommend around here, like in walking distance or? I mean, there's so much to do. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I prefer the the Revolution Museum across the street to most of the bars in the neighborhood. Oh, but, wow, okay. Uh, right across the street? Yeah, right across the street. So they do call this the most historic mile in uh, in America. Oh. So we've got the Revolution Museum, the Ben Franklin Museum, Liberty the Bell Betsy Ross House. Oh, yeah. yeah, the Liberty okay. Bell, you know. So um, so it's, it's definitely a very touristy area, which is why we made our... Um, our you know, our Ben Franklin theme game to begin with was to kind of place in the neighborhood. In terms of food and drink, there's a ton I go to. Um, the Borscht just opened, so that's a giant food hall that's just a block away as well. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So people can make a day of it. They can come here, do an escape room, eat, go to the museum. Definitely. So there's lots that's to it. do in this area. Definitely. It's great. Yep. The third room that you plan to launch, mm -hmm. is there a particular theme to it or oh, yeah. a name? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so the game's called 2084. So it's a... Yeah, it's futuristic take on George Orwell's 1984. The, you know, the, the, the book that everyone reads when they're young. fast forward. Until, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're like playing with the idea of mind control and like outsmarting mind control kind of. It's got some Black Mirror vibes. Yeah, some Black Mirror vibes. It's getting weirder and weirder as we write it. Yeah, yeah. and then that's what's taking so long to write. It's just, uh, just like keeping, just keep rewriting and rewriting and rewriting, make sure we're getting it to the point we want. Cause, uh, we want it to stand out, we want it to be unique, and we want to introduce some like puzzles and like some gameplay that maybe you haven't seen before. Right. So, yeah. Well, again, very excited to see what uh, comes of it. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.